Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of fractions and decimals, specifically how we can relate the two if they are larger than one, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So we've got two different fractions, but hopefully you notice that these aren't regular fractions. We actually call these improper fractions because they are greater than one. That means the numerator, the top number, is larger than one the bottom number. We can still write those as a decimal. How do we do that? Well, the same as we would write it if this were, let's pretend this is just a regular fraction, right? Let's pretend that's seven tenths. Well, how would we write that? Well, we would write a place value, right? We always need a ones place. And then that 10 is tenths. So that's our tenths place right there. And we would just put that numerator seven in the tenths place. I don't have any ones. So that's seven tenths. Well, let's pretend that we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do that with 17 tenths. Okay, well, we always need at least a ones place, and we need that tenths right there. So how would we write 17? You know you can't write two digits in that place value, so you end up writing a 17. You put the rightmost digit in the tenths place, and then this leftover one ends up going over there. And so 17 tenths is the same as 1 and 7 tenths. That's what makes it an improper fraction. Think about if you were to write 17 ones. What happens if you have 17 ones, like 17 little ones cubes, right? Well, if you had 17 one cubes, you can actually take 10 of them, put it into a tens rod, right? You could actually get, here's my ones, you're going to need an extra place value. 17 ones is the same as a 10 and 7 ones. It's the same thing. You could have it spill over a little bit. So let's look at this one right here. 237 hundredths. Well, we need to write a decimal that goes to the hundredths. We at least need something in the ones place, even if it's a zero. We're going to need our tenths because even if nothing's there, we need that place because we got to go all the way over to our hundredths. That's my hundredths place right there. And then what we do is we write this one digit at a time with the last digit going in the place that's named. So the seven is in the hundredths place, which means that three is going to go in the tenths place, which means I actually have space left over for a 2 in the 1's place. So 237 hundredths is the same as 2 and 37 hundredths. Or you could write it as a mixed number, 2 and 37 hundredths, which looks probably a little bit neater. This right here is the same thing as this right here. This is a mixed number, whereas what we originally saw it as was an improper fraction. Now let's go the other way. Let's take a look at these decimals that are larger than one. Let's rewrite them as fractions. Well, most of us understand how to rewrite these as mixed numbers, right? So what's our big number going to be? Any whole number. So that's going to be a one. And then you need to write, well, I've got one, two places there. So that's going to be the tenths. It's going to be the hundredths. So I'm going to make my denominator of hundred. And then I'm going to say seven hundredths. But how can we make that as an improper fraction? Well, let's do what we did last time. Take a look at all of this right here. If you take out the decimal, what do you have? 107. What place value does it go to? Hundredths. So it also equals 107 hundredths. It's as simple as that. Just take all the digits, put them all together in the numerator, and then write the value of the final digit in the denominator. Let's do the same thing here. 8 and 7 tenths. Okay, so if we want to write that as a mixed number, we can do that. So our whole numbers are going to be the big ones. And then this is, let's see, that's in the tenths place. So we need to write a fraction next to it. Our denominator is going to be the place values in the tenths place, and that's 7 tenths. Or... We could take all of the digits without the decimal, 87. What place is that in? Tenths, 87 tenths.